Yeah. He's alive. Yes, he's alive. He just opened his mouth. He just opened his mouth? He's not moving much, but he just opened his mouth. He's moving, huh? Yeah. See? His mouth is shut now. No, he can't cross here. The crossing signs up there somewhere. <laughs> Look at them all. Well, there's at least 10 or 12 baby alligators and a turtle that I'm filming right now. Of course, I'm not getting any closer because we don't know where Mama is. right there on it. This is a trail and it has what they call solution holes. Uh, not sure what that means. But it's the limestone and then there's holes all in it and water below us. And soon we'll be walking to this trail ahead of us. I'm going to go ahead and show you what the trail looks like. Last solution hole. I'm going to be walking up this way through this trail, which I am reluctant to do because there's alligators all around us. But we've come halfway through, so we're going to go out the other end. Paw Paul's making me do this. Hope we get to see you again, grandkids. Bye. Okay, guys, we came out of the trail, and what's sitting straight in front of us on the other side? This huge alligator. I have no idea what size that is, but it's pretty scary. There's some little, some little bird sitting down here. He might, might have his eye on that alligator. I don't know, he might be a alligator might be about twelve to fifteen feet. Holy cow. He's pretty scary looking. I don't want to get any closer, that's for sure. We're probably about I don't know, twenty feet from him. Scary. Okay, we didn't know better, but we went driving down the scenic road, and as you can see, it's nothing but mud puddles all the way down to the end of the road. 20 miles worth, but our Ellie can do it if any vehicle can. Here's a big guy that we came upon. He's looking at us. It's pouring down raining outside. He's probably about the size of a maybe an eight-footer or so. Fish bobbing around them. Pretty cool.